Hi guys and welcome back to Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. So the next event on the tour is the Linear Farm Open and it's at Mana Farm. And we're fishing for carp. So we'll take the very bottom peg I think. Greetings everybody and welcome to the next event on the tour. While the competitor... We're currently leading the carp tour on 300 points just seven little points ahead of second spot so really we can't afford any slip-ups so let's quickly grab our peg and let's get fishing just using the standard carp tackle box we're using size two hooks and we're using tiger nuts i right, just gotta find some silt Well, this is not looking good. Uh, let's switch to the gravel box. Can't seem to find any silt. Who'd have thought it? We'll read it in just a little bit. About 50 to 60 yards. That should do it. And let's get the other two rods in the water then. Hopefully it shouldn't cost us too much time, we've wasted around a minute swapping tackle boxes, switching the rods over. But with carp fishing, like we've seen before, normally sometimes you can get three on the go at the same time. So we should catch up pretty quickly even if anybody catches anything. Right, that's all three in the water. I think I'll pick up number one. Get a little bit nearer. I'm not happy with 60 yards. I think about 40. Similar to the way the other two are. Oh, cool. We got a bite. Which rod is it? It's number three. As per usual, we're running the 30 pound lines as well, so I'm not too worried about any snapping here. Seems to be taking quite a while, but I think we're starting to slowly wind this guy in now. And the first fish of the day has been caught by the leaders, Lizzie Rees, 30 pounds, 6 ounces. Hopefully we're going to do a lot better than that with this one. Just put it on the line a little smidge here. Hopefully be me net pretty soon here. And there's plenty of leaders caught fish now. We're down to seven spot. Ooh, one of the lines got a bite, it's number two. Right, it'd be good if we can actually reel this one in first. And there we go, finally we've got him. And that about a little fella there. Hopefully that'll put us straight into the lead. 30 pound, three ounces. Yes. Should propel us straight into the lead, and it does. Ooh, actually not by very much. Second spot's on 25 pound, eight ounces now. Right, now that's back in the water. Let's start winding in number two. Somebody please remember to get me to move 9-3. I've just realised it's in gravel when you did in silt. Since we've been fishing for a few minutes now, what sort of number should we go for today, guys? What do you think should be the magic number? Well, I'm thinking £200. If we can get them on the line one at a time, boom, 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 machine gun them in. Yeah, I think it's doable. If we keep getting 30 pounders anyway. I 
I know the line should be fine, but every time I hear a beep when it's been stretched, the back of your mind think, ooh, don't let it snap. Yeah, this little guy, he's really fighting it, isn't he? What is this, a mirror cop, do you think? Or is it a common? Oh, we got a bite on another line as well. Just got this guy in as well. Oh, it's a common cop, 25 pounds. Right, that shall extend our lead now. And which lane is it? I don't see any moving. Right, there we go. It's actually number three. Wow. This tackle box set for silt. And he's caught it in gravel. So we're up to 55 pound 15 ounces, but second spot. Yep, they're really pushing us here. They're on 37 pound 10 ounces now. Oh, don't let them go into the reeds. Remember what happened on a couple of events ago where we had a... It was a carp. He stuck in the reeds and he wouldn't come out. Not for a good couple of minutes anyway. Is that a spot on his head? Is that a mirror carp, do you think? I think I did get a glimpse of a spot there. Must remember to move line two, guys. It's in gravel at the moment. I need that back in silt. I should have done it straight away, but I just wanted to start reeling this guy in as quick as I could. Right, we're getting him. What is he? And it's a common carp, 25 pounder. Not really many big fish today. We've had 130 pounders so far. That's extended our lead now to 80 pounds, 15 ounces. Yeah, 200 pounds. It's looking pretty good for today. Right, that's in reeds. Come on, wind it in. Oh, did I pick the gravel tackle box? Have I got the wrong tackles on here? Right, I'm going to have to look back in the footage. My mind's gone a bit funny now. Right, I've got some Benoffy in the old throwing stick here. Let's see how good we are. Can we get it next to number one? Couldn't even see that hit of the water, did anybody else? We should be pretty close anyway. Not too far out, is it? Nope. Couldn't see that one either. Anyway, do this one as well. Right, come on, fishies. I thought they'd be a machine gun in the min by now. There are a lot of proceedings at the moment, guys. Um, the cop are very quiet. Second spot's up to £42, 14 ounces now. They've closed the gap slightly. I'm not too worried, really. We've got a good £40 lead at the moment. Hopefully, we'll get a few more bites. We'll extend that by quite a bit. There we go. At last, we've got a bite. Which rod is it? It's number one. So if we can get this guy, that'll probably give us, what, £100 at least. And we're coming up to nearly halfway point, so that's pretty much bang on the money for a £200 round. Maybe more for lucky. Just need some decent sized fish. Can't seem to find much over £30 at the moment. How about a named? We haven't had a named for so long. Right, I should really start concentrating on this guy. I think it's another common cop. I did spot a little bit of a, a spot on his old head there. Nearly got him, I think. Oh, following the old line there. Got a few thousand tackle points burning in the whole me pocket. I can't really find much to spend it on. I seem to have all the equipment I need at the moment, especially for carp fishing. Bass fishing as well. So I'm guessing I'll just have to start buying different predator lures.
This guy seems to be taking quite a while to reel in. I'm wondering, could this be a decent size? I'm about to find out. What have we got? And it's a Miracop, 35 pounds, 2 ounces. That's definitely more like it. That puts us up to now, what is it, 116 pounds, 2 ounces. Our lead, it's absolutely massive now. Over 70 pounds. And we're just over the halfway point as well, and we're over the £100 mark. So our little challenge we've set ourselves of £200 plus, it's looking pretty good now. Right, what's going on now? It's gone really quiet again. This is not like carp fishing at all. Oh, just as I see that, we got a bite. Oh, no! It's lost it. Damn it! Right, let's get the old throwing stick out. Try and tempt the carp. Oh, that one was bang on the money. That was four. So number three, that should be out of four as well. Oh, I didn't see that one land. Number two, just slightly over a four, I think. Oh, it might not be as much as that, though. Oh, actually it was. That was pretty close. <laughs> Mini games in this game I really do like. Second spot. I've closed the lead slightly then after 48 pounds, 5 ounces. But I'm not remotely worried. Sitting on a 70 pound lead nearly. We should win this event pretty comfortably. Just where are all these carp hiding now? Apparently none of our hooks anymore. Yeah, at this point I'd like to sit in my little chair, have a nice little sandwich, maybe a little bit of cake. Just enjoy the day. Right, we'll pick up number two, we'll put it somewhere else. I'm gonna tempt these carp, what's wrong with them? Let's do number one as well. Slightly to the left, I think. Reel it in a little bit. Don't let that too far out. About 25 yards. That should do it. And I think we'll do number three as well. Get a little bit nearer this tree, maybe. Oh, at last we got a bite. Yeah, it's been quiet for a couple of minutes, so it is nice to finally actually get something. Right, which rod is it? Is number two. Let's start reeling them in then. Oh, what on earth is that? Is that a catfish maybe? Didn't get a total good look at it. When he comes back around, we'll reel it in a little bit more and have a proper look here. Oh, we've got a bite in something else. I think that's number three because number one's definitely not moving. Right, he's coming a bit closer, I think. Yes, he is. Let's get a proper look at this guy. I think it is a catfish, though. Oh, it looks like a nice size as well. The only downside to catching this guy is that it's not going to count towards the event. So really, I should just clip the line and let him go. But you never know. This could be a named catfish. We are in a carp lake as well. So we've got a good lead. Still over 60 pounds. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, he's a nice size. Have a look. What is he? Pratt the cat. Get in there. Finally, we're getting a named. It's been a long time since we've caught one. Right, let's get this rod back in the water and we start reeling in number three, I think.
This guy's all over the place. He's pretty active. Wondering if he's a cop. Normally they're pretty slow and sluggish. He's moving about quite a lot. Get a little bit closer. Let's have a look. Oh no, it is cop. I was wrong. Unless we start getting some really big cop. I think that £200 goal, it's not going to be achieved today. We've got less than five minutes to go. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but we should still win the event. I think this guy's a mirror cop. Right, we finally reeled him in. What is it? Yeah, that's a mirror cop. What sort of weight we got here? Uh, £20, 9 ounces. Bit on the small side. Right, let's get back in the water. We're on 136 pound, 11 ounces now. So we're good. What's that? 64 pounds short of 200. Unless we get two monster carp, it's not going to happen today. But we've got to bite another line. It's number two. Oh, there's number one got to bite as well. Did I say that move? This is more like carp fishing. Multiple bites on different lines. So we can reel this guy in, get the other one. We're, ooh, we could be pretty close to 200. And number three's got a bite as well. Oh, it doesn't rain a pause. Just have to hope the other two will stay on the line long enough if we can reel this guy in getting pretty close now. No, he's going to go around again, I think. Got just over three minutes to go now. If we can get him reeled in quick, we do have a slight chance we could get the other two as well. Again, I think that's in the mirror carp. I got a glimpse of him. Oh, no, you're not going in them reeds. Get away from there. I'm not going through all that again. Have we got him? No, he's still fighting it. Damn it. Finally, he gives up the ghost. We've got him in the net. Yeah, it's a nice mirror carp there. Again, it's not massive, is it? 32 pounds, 15 ounces. Oh, that's surprising. I thought it was smaller than that. Right, get this back in the water really quick. If we can get another 31 pound carp, we'll hit that magic 200 mark. Right, which one do we pick? One or three? Probably only got enough time for one now. That last guy did take quite a while to reel in. getting slightly worried I was going to get snagged in that tree, the old line. But I think we're getting away from the reeds in the tree. We are, right. He's 32 yards out now. We've got, well, we've got a minute 50. We should be able to reel him in, no problem. How many times the last few minutes we seem to get a lot of fish on the go? Ah, he's finally snapped the line on number one, but who cares? We definitely didn't have enough time to reel him in anyway. And I think that's another mirror carp. We've caught quite a few of them today already. Oh, he's stretching line just a little bit. Just over a minute to go now. Is he giving up the ghost? Nope, he's going to go around one more time. Oh, typical. We've got to bite another line. Oh, we need to play for another five minutes. Give me some extra time. Right, he's in the net. Let's have a look at him. Yeah, it is a mirror carp. What sort of size are you looking at here? 31 pounds, 8 ounces. Has that done it? Yes, it has. 201 pounds, 2 ounces. We got it right at the end there. If 
finally felt like we've had a decent day's fishing. I'll reel this guy in. I will not get him. We've only got like 20 seconds to go now. Yeah, down to the last few seconds now. We're not even close to reeling this guy in, are we? And just as I say that, there's a bite on another line. And that's time up. So we've had a great day's fish and we managed to bag, what's that, eight fish. One of them was a catfish. That was a bit weird, but on the good side, it was a named. So if you've had a good time, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time for some more Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Bye, guys.